What does CCENT and Dora the Explorer from the popular children's cartoon have in common? Well, let me tell you, it's DHCP. That's right. I love to use the acronym DORA in order to memorize those four important steps of the DHCP process. Let's take a look at those right now. In step one, we can see that the client says, help, I need some IP address information. It sends out a broadcast discover message to try and obtain its IP address info. In the second step of the process, the DHCP server responds and says, look, here is an offer, our O in Dora. The offer is for some IP address information. Next, the client says, you know what, I've looked that over, looks great to me. Let me go ahead and request that information from you. And in the fourth step of the process, the server is going to go ahead and acknowledge that the client does indeed have that information. So remember Dora when it comes to this important four-step DHCP process. By the way, another similarity is that a lot of people have told me I look just like Diego from Dora the Explorer. So there's another CCENT similarity. Must be without the glasses, by the way. Diego does not have glasses. All right. So I want to right now go ahead and turn to the command line for a moment. Can a Cisco router function as a DHCP client? And for that matter, can it function as a DHCP server? Well, it can actually function as both. We can go to an interface and we can say IP address DHCP. Now the router is playing the role of the client. If we go to global configuration mode and we say IP DHCP pool and we create a DHCP pool and then configure it, now the router is functioning as the role of the server, the DHCP server. So notice Cisco routers can do a lot when it comes to DHCP. Cisco routers can also function as something we call a DHCP relay agent. Now what I'm sharing with you goes beyond the scope of CCENT a little bit. You don't really need to know the relay agent functionality for your exam, but we love, obviously, here at the Cisco Learning Network and at stormwindlive.com, we love to make sure that we're giving you real world info. In fact, I've asked one of our many CCENT instructors that you'll see in our courses, I've asked one of those instructors to come by right now and explain to us this concept of the DHCP relay agent. So let me bring in Doug Bassett here with no further ado. DHCP is a great way to hand out IP addresses in your environment. But if you're in a larger environment where you have routers, that can be a problem because DHCP is broadcast based. Now, of course, there's different ways. You can have a 1542 compliant router. You can take and put a network interface card in each network subnet that the DHCP server has to deal with. But there's another way that we can do this. It's called a DHCP relay agent. The DHCP relay agent is a service that can run on a machine. And this service simply listens for DHCP broadcasts, the DORA requests. Then what's going to happen is it's going to encapsulate these and it's going to resend them as unicast the DHCP server. So the bottom line is, is with a relay agent, you don't have to have special routers. You don't have to have network adapters. Instead, you're just going to have a client in the subnet. It'll listen for those broadcasts and then forward them off to the appropriate DHCP server. Well, thank you so much, Doug, for helping us out with DHCP here by special request for the Cisco Learning Network. We want to thank everyone for watching this Cisco video blog. And as Dora the Explorer would say, adios.